Alright, well today's video is going to be a little different than what I have been uh, giving you. I've been always showing you what I'm doing. Today's is, uh, I'm going to show you uh, what problems I've run into, what mistakes I've made, and and just to, uh, if nothing else, just to maybe on your project you won't do the same thing that I did. But the first thing, I, one, of the, one of the problems is I noticed when I put this cap back on, there's a one inch gap right there. And even if you get up there and stand on the top of it, it will not go down. I don't know if that was because when I had it on my uh, rack over there that maybe I had the front too high or maybe the bottom of the boat's sagging. I'm thinking, seeing how if I stand on it, it won't go down. I'm gonna try raising this up and see if that closes that up. I'll get back with you on that on. On, on what actually is going to take care of that. There is a like a big piece of thread all that comes right from this hook and it goes all the way up into an eyelet up on top for towing and stuff. And uh, I wonder if that, you know, I've got that released. I'm wondering if that is what's uh, caused that to raise, but you still wouldn't think that would raise. You'd think it's set back on there, but we'll go from there. Well, the one of the other issues is here, and I don't know if you can get a true appreciation for this. This is my rub rail off the side, so I've got it laid up there to kind of keep the shape. But look how much longer that is. This evidently, when I put my clamps on to clamp my transom boards back on, I took in. Uh, hold it much but even here even at the corner it's too long I mean it's uh, it's you know you can see on my finger it's that much too long there and it's probably about almost to there on the back here how did this thing grow but uh, my thought is, is right now is once I get it all back on there I'll just take, maybe just taper this back down. I'm not going to cut this. It would be too much work. So I'll probably block it and taper it down and then feather it in. No one will probably ever see it but me. But I don't, I don't know if I pulled the transom up too much or if uh, the cap, you know, if it's just stretched over the years from the transom being weak. But in any case, it's way too long. Also, on, on this transom back here, you can see where I'm at. This transom, uh, I used that heavy woven on here, and that's because somebody had uh, given me a bunch of it, and uh, and so the price was right. They tell me that the 1708 was uh, is a lot easier to work with for people that are not real good with or not have a lot of experience with fiberglass. Um, what I did here is, is, I don't know if you can see it, but like right here, I have where I've had to, I've ground it off, put it back on, ground it off. Over here in the corner, it was resin rich and some places I had air pockets, ground it off and put it back. And then you can even see here where I've ground and right there. I'm gonna go back, but after it's really cured, and I don't know if the camera can pick this up, but I've got a few air pockets right around this drain, and and like right there. So I'm hoping that uh, you know some of them I'll, I'll grind back out like this there. See how that air pocket got in there? I mean, you know, I don't know what's acceptable, what's not, but. I will take and grind that back out just because, but if you look at it, uh, if you can see that I got a bunch of crisscrossing and everything else there where I've ground it back out and I've always edited that out. And, but uh, I, I did want to shoot this video so everybody could see. And let me back up here for a minute. You can see my helper here is pointing to that. I have have to support the back of this uh, cap with those boards because it hangs over that transom so far that it just sags down in the middle so I'm uh, like I said I, I, I'm gonna have to work on this a bit and see what we can do to fix that
I'm going to save mine with the other side. I've got it supported. Okay. Next spot I was going to show you is right up here in the bow of the boat. Let me get up here where you can see. Uh, I've got some cracking right there on both sides of this uh, drain. And I'm wondering if that's which truly, if the front of the bow has sagged some with the, uh, when I had the cap off of it, and there's a reason my top's not fitting good. I don't know if you can see it, but right here on the bottom of this hole here, there is a, uh, the gel coat's completely gone. And, uh, it, on a, on the, uh, like on a hot sunny day or something, when I didn't have this top on, you can actually see it, it has a light area through here. I thought that I would sand all this off. I have seen where some people strip the gel coat off and put a bottom paint on. And I've seen other people that put the gel coat back on. Uh, I don't know which process I'm going to use yet. I'm going to check. But I just wanted to show you that is another one of the issues I have right now with this boat. Right here is to help my stringers and bulkheads. I, if you've seen in my earlier videos, I had them laid up there all laid out just the way they came out. Well, the weeds and stuff was coming up around them and I moved them and throwed them in a pile. I thought I could straighten them back out. This is a jigsaw puzzle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get, take these to the boat and see if that don't help because I've laid them and I've got some labeled and some aren't and I'm gonna try to Take some old pictures and lay them back in the boat and see if I can figure it out. The, I, I know basically how they go in the boat. I just don't know the heights and stuff. And and I know I could put my uh, the sides back on the inside, the gunwales in there. But I, I uh, want to take and I really wanted to do it a little different. So okay, what I'm doing here is uh, I didn't. Uh, Say, but I had a little cavity right here, and uh, it's inject some uh, some resin down in it, and uh, until it filled up. I took it over. <coughs> regular drinking straw and just kind of smoosh the end and put it in there just gonna and run it down in there and uh, to fill that void because when I stuck uh, a little zip tie in there I, I could feel it and it was just like in a few areas and so I thought I'd just run that in there